Good morning. Today, I'll talk to you about irrational numbers between two rational numbers. Uh, the question is, given x is greater than 2 but less than 3, find x where x is an irrational number. Um, probably you already know some of the famous irrational numbers. They are pi, this actually the ratio of circumference with its diameter of a circle and then probably you heard about um, E that's a base of natural logarithm most of the cases or you can find it in um, exponential function that's uh, exponential growth or decay or you may heard very famous one uh, phi which is known as golden ratio these are all irrational numbers okay beside this there are other irrational numbers uh, one if, if you think that um, uh, any number that cannot be expressed as a by b any number in this case any number is our excuse me is our x if x cannot be expressed as in the form of a and b where a and b both are a and b both are integers integers if we cannot write down x in this form then x is our integers let's think about square root 4 okay that's we don't write down 2 but let's say we have this square root 4 okay square root 4 can be written as 2 square uh, whenever a square root we don't just write down that but I'll just show you you'll know in a second why I did that so this this cross out and it becomes 2 now 2 can be written as 2 by 1 and that is a rational number okay 2 by 1 denominator so both of them are integers so square root 4 is actually a rational number now the thing I'm gonna do today every number that involves that's number 1 okay properties of irrational number every prime number every prime number who was a prime number every prime number involved in any root think about square root any root square root cube root fifth root any root and it can involve in root okay then it's an it's an irrational number irrational number over here 2 is an irrational uh, 2 is a prime number but 4 is not so 4 is a perfect square example of a perfect square it can be taken out as the square root so 4 is not an irrational number but 2 is a prime number if I have square root 2 and this cannot be taken out from the root this is an irrational number so square root 2 square root 5 cube root 7 then fifth root 11 this all 2, 2, 5, 7, 11, they are all prime numbers. What are prime numbers? Prime numbers are the numbers that has only two factors. Prime numbers are the numbers having only two factors. Two factors. One is 1 and other one is itself. Okay. That might lead to the second question, the, uh, that might lead to a question in your mind that are all the composite number which are not prime, if they are involved in any rules, they are irrational num uh, irrational number or irrational number. Actually it depends, okay, if, if we have any composite number, composite number involved in root, okay, involved in any root and we are unable to take them out of the square root such as this one if we are unable to take it out okay involving a root but cannot be taken out of the root out of the root is known as irrational number that's the irrational number again irrational number think about square root 6 square root 6 can be written as 
2 square root 2 times 3 in another words 2 times square root square root 2 times square root 3 one irrational number multiplied by another irrational number so this is an example of irrational number so square root 6 is an irrational number but whenever you have 4 we have seen before it can be written as 2 times 2 that means square root 2 times square root 2 and it can be taken out as 2 and this is not an irrational number square root 6 is this is a perfect square under square root so it cannot be an irrational number so let's go back to our original question it was find x in between two rational numbers 2 and 3 okay find x in between this two values where x is an irrational number so based on this let's say we can write down 2 as 2 square giving a square root so square root and a square can cancel out and we can write as 2 you can see that so we are not changing anything we are just writing 2 in different way 2 equal to square root 2 square same rule applies and we can write down 3 as a square root 3 square that means 9 so if we put it in the perfect number square root 4 square root 9 over here so every number in between that are integers are irrational numbers think about a square root 5 square root 6 we have seen that a square root 6 and an irrational number square root 7 square root 8 all this integers values or whole numbers if you may like to say okay involving a square root they are irrational number uh, there are infinite numbers of in, in, in between these two numbers in a matter of fact because if you are using the points then those some most of the points in numbers involving a points they are irrational number two but you need to be very careful because if you write down a square root 6.25 okay it can be written as 2.5 and 2.5 can be written as 25 by 10 in the form of a by b so this not going to be an irrational number okay so you have to be careful whenever you are using the point um in the first rule we said that any prime numbers okay uh, involving any root or any composite number involving any root but cannot be taken out they are irrational number we have tried with the square root what about cube root okay let's see if we can do the same thing with the cube root okay this one was with square root let's try with cube root cube root so we can write down 2 now with power 3 giving a cube root here okay. same way this can be written as cube root with 3 having a power 3 or index 3 now this can be written as cube root 8 and this can be written as cube root 27 okay so all the numbers in between sorry all the numbers in between with cube root that's integers cube root 9 cube root 10 cube root 11 and keeps going right before that cube root 26 all of these are irrational number okay again same same way over here you can try uh, cube root uh, 15.625 and that's going to give you 2.5 and this is not an irrational number. Okay. So I have in this video uh, showed you that a perfect square involving a root that cannot be rational number but any other values than that any integers value they are irrational number and any perfect cube numbers involving a cube roots. Okay. Uh, that uh, beside that um, any other numbers can be rational number perfect cube with uh, cube root cannot be rational number but any other numbers other than that perfect cube can be an irrational number i hope you like to explore the other things such as other roots fourth root fifth root and what if you have nth root okay see that if this thing works or not okay as a rational number you can use your calculator and find it out if that irrational number or not uh, whenever you are using the calculator if you find that any values 
um, whenever you are dividing that or a square root, let's say square root, I'm going to do it 6, square root 6. See that I have 2.44948973 and keeps going on. Okay. And it, 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 it doesn't end and it doesn't follow any pattern. So anything like that, that's going to be our irrational number. Think about famous pi. Then it's 3.14159264. This is an irrational number. Think about uh, square root 8. That also not following any pattern. 2.82842725. And what about cube root 26? So cube root 26. See that it's giving you 2.962496068. If you notice that all of them are in between these two values. 2 and 3. So we are okay. These are the way to find out irrational numbers between two rational numbers. I hope you like it. Thank you very much. See you in next video. Take care.